I grew up in Jackson, Mississippi. I was born there. There really weren't other kids around when I was little, so I had to play by myself a lot. I was very curious and I had a really large imagination. While I was in college, I had a job doing visual merchandising and illustration for a department store. I did the windows and I did all the advertising, I wrote it, and yeah, I had a good design background. I'm really proud of that. But I really didn't understand, you know, design with a big D. I went to the Aspen Design Conference. I mean, it was the first time I was really around first-rate thinkers and talent. The conference just changed my life. I was frustrated with my profession when uh, I was very young. It really was like Mad Men here in Kansas City. I mean, there were agencies, and they were mostly, you know, male run, which is, you know, still pretty much true. But I just didn't see myself in those situations. I don't think that kind of creativity really inspired me. That's when I decided to start my own firm, because I realized I wanted something only I could create. I wanted it to be much more personal, a place where I could bring my children, a place that other women could come and work. When I first started my company, it was in my garage. I couldn't get a loan. I needed a small new business loan, and no one would loan me the money because I was a designer. I had to make a living, and I also wanted to make a life. And how I describe making a life is really making a place that you want to be as much as you want to be at home. Our work has always been retail. Our whole challenge is to get inside the mind of the consumer, who most of the time is a woman, because they buy so much. We really use that fertile ground as a basis for research. We really understand on a, just a real tacit level the complexities of a woman's life. Most of the brands we work on now are national brands. They're brands that have some emotional component to them where we can create a story that resonates with people. I think our sweet spot is working with companies that are doing something that hasn't been done before. For the most part, branding is something that I find very important. We strive to design brands that people love. We've never thought of a brand as a logo. To us, the logo is sort of a symbol of what the company represents. It stands for the ideals or the ideas that the company has and how people treat each other. When I look at the word Willoughby now, I don't say, oh, that's me. I really do think of it as a brand. Very few design firms go into their second generation unless they're a product company, you know, then they have patents and things like that. But I think we're going to be able to do it because we've got such great people here. It really makes for the kind of place that clients like to come and really good designers like to work.